Hey there guys, Cash, Lily, Nolan, Nathaniel, Mackenzie, Tanner, the triplets, Tanner, Jackson, Lenny, Addison, and anyone else I might have forgot, uh, I apologize. I'm almost ready for bed. When I record this, it's nighttime, so I'm having a little ice cream sandwich. So, I hope you have a nice little snack, or if it's just before bed, you have some Ice cream, maybe, if your parents let you. But today we're going to read, Don't Forget the Oatmeal. This is one of Aunt Meg's favorites. It's from the characters of Sesame Street. All right. One morning, Ernie and Bert were getting ready to go to the supermarket. Ernie was checking the shopping list to make sure he had written down everything they needed. Let's, let's see, he said. Apples, oranges, milk, eggs, paper, napkins, soap, peas, peanut butter, hamburger meat, pickles, and bread. Is that all, Bert? You forgot to write down oatmeal, Ernie, said Bert. You know I like to have a bowl of delicious, nutritious oatmeal every morning. Don't worry, Bert. We won't forget it, said Ernie, as he picked up his piggy bank and hurried out the door. <clears throat> At the fruit stand outside the supermarket, Bert weighed the apples on a scale while Ernie got the oranges. Why do you have that string tied around your finger, Bert? asked Ernie. To help me remember the oatmeal, said Bert. Just then, along came Cookie Monster. Cookies on sale today, he said, pointing to a large sile. Me buy lots and lots of cookies. Me buy enough cookies to last all year. Inside the market, Ernie and Bert began to gather the rest of the things on their list. We need milk and eggs from the dairy counter, said Ernie. What about the oatmeal, Ernie? said Bert. Later, Bert. Later, said Ernie as he hurried to get the milk and eggs. Ernie came running back to the wagon. Look what I found, Bert, old buddy. I got some terrific cheesy pleasy. And here's some delicious ice cream supreme. But we just need milk and eggs, said Bert, looking at the shopping list. We'll have to put those other things back. At the end of the dairy aisle, Cookie Monster was putting some cartons of milk in his cart. <clears throat> he said, Me love milk with cookies. Bert pushed the cart into the next aisle to look for paper napkins and soap. Suddenly, Ernie came running up behind him with his arms full. Wait just a minute, Ernie, said Bert. We don't need paper plates and cups today. We don't need sandwich bags and straws. We need only napkins and soap and oatmeal. We'll just have to put those other things back. While Ernie put back the things they didn't need, Bert went on to the next aisle to get the peas and peanut butter. Why don't you buy some vegetables, Cookie, said Bert as he weighed the peas. Vegetables are good for you. Cookie ate a handful of peas. <clears throat> peas not bad. Me like peas. Good, said Bert. Don't forget to pay for them. Ernie stopped at the meat counter. One pound of hamburger meat, please, he said to the butcher. Here you are, said the butcher. After getting pickles at the delicatessen counter, Bert checked the shopping list. Then he noticed the string tied around his finger. I mustn't forget the oatmeal, he said. Did you say oatmeal, said Cookie Monster, running down the aisle. Me love oatmeal cookies. Where they hide cookies in the supermarket anyway? Why don't you try the next aisle, said Bert. Cookie Monster looked into the next aisle. Cookies! He shouted. Yummy, cried Cookie Monster, running toward the shelves and grabbing a bag of cookies. Here, oatmeal cookies. And peanut butter cookies, goodie. Coconut macaroons, delicious. Marshmallow cookies, oh, give me lots of these. And mint chip brews and chocolate fudge creams. By the time Ernie and Bert reached the bakery aisle, they found Cookie Monster on the floor, surrounded by bags of cookies. We better help Cookie clean up this mess," said Ernie. "He doesn't need all these. He doesn't need all these cookies," said Bert, picking up a box of mint chip brews. Ernie and Bert helped Cookie Monster put the things back where they belonged and reminded him to pay for the cookies he had broken and eaten. They left just one bag of cookies in his cart. Finally, Ernie and Boot pushed their cart up to the checkout counter to pay for their groceries. Gee, Ernie, I never thought we'd finish our shopping. It's a good thing I brought my piggy bank along, Bert, said Ernie. We have just enough money for everything. Ernie and Bert hurried along Sesame Street, carrying their bags of groceries. Cookie Monster headed straight home for his afternoon snack of cookies and milk. Back home in their kitchen, Ernie and Bert took the groceries out of the bags. Bert put the jars in the cabinets and Ernie put the milk and eggs in the refrigerator. Bert read the shopping list again. 
apples, oranges, milk, eggs, paper napkins, soap, peas, peanut butter, hamburger meat, pickles, and bread. Oh no, Bert groaned, collapsing into a chair. What's the matter, Bert, old buddy? asked Ernie. Bert held up the finger that still had a string tied around it. We forgot to buy the oatmeal. I guess they're going to have to go back to the store to get some oatmeal. See you next time.